did it again. Great success. Ooh, nice. I don't know what it's wrong yet. Take all of these screws out. Butter moving across this scene right now. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy the day. Episode three. My name is Ben. I'm a design engineer at CNC Labs, I'm working on the 4x8 alt mill project to create a router table that will cut a four foot by eight foot sheet cutting area on the table bed. In episode three, I'll be machining the gantry plates that ride on the Y axis. That's the axis with the rack and pinion drive going the length of the machine. I'll also be machining the rest of the swing arm components and the pinions, putting it on the machine, seeing some issues and fixing those issues as they come up in episode three, drive mechanism. Larger Y gantry plates that we bought for a project, they're thicker, they're a, they're a beefier Y gantry plate. It's taller by about two inches. The one for the four by eight is going to resemble these close-ish. 2400 RPM. Okay, fine, 2000. Oh, that is danger close. What did you do? Hmm? What did you do? I was running it close by bringing the tap down because I only got a little bit of space at the bottom. Hey, you're gonna tear down this setup? I'm gonna do one more of these. Because uh, and then I'll tear it. Yeah, I do this setup. Uh, you so. want it? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. I need to trim down my plates for the small guy. That dog really smells. I'm cutting the aluminum for the swing arm prototype, it doesn't seem to be cutting very fast. So change of plans, I'm going to be using this really long, 50 millimeters long, and I'm going to cut through it this way. Five millimeter cut. Dangerous. All right, that's six. Let's see when this breaks. Okay, so six was too much. I managed to nearly get all the way through in the last cut. Great success. Definitely did that on purpose. Hanging out at the mill, looking out the garage door. Gorgeous day. Got a little chip of aluminum. That's that blotchy thing that you can see, but I think you're still getting the point. 
really can't complain one bit. So I made these yesterday. They're the swing arm pivots that go on to the gearbox. Put a little slot in here to make sure that they're 90 degrees and square with each other because if they aren't, put it like this. Hello, how are you doing? I forgot your name. You're a Scots kid though, right? Enjoy the day. I just machined the slot into the gearbox housing, one of them. The diameter of these bearings is larger by a few points of a millimeter than this bore. So I'm going to press it in there with a big arbor press. Swing arms. I'm going to be putting them on here. Inner ring seats against the inside ring of the angular contact bearing in there. This will distribute the load onto the face of the Y gantry plate. Wow. Huh. This hole is in the wrong spot. I'm supposed to put these on this hole, that's why. That is rock solid. Oh man, I forgot, it's funny. I forgot I just have a shaft. I still need to machine the pinions so that they look how they're gonna look. And that's gonna be like a pinion and uh, a clamping collar that squeezes the pinion onto the shaft. I gotta make a slot through there. This goes on it. Big excitement, pretty much got everything ready to uh, put the table together. This is like a monumental one. Yeah. It's, uh, please hold it. Um, Be so loud. This is great. Yeah, put it together, buddy. Well, we'll see what effect that has. Yeah, you, know, you can hear it. Wow. I mean, that's the whole point, is you figure it out and uh, run into problems, see how bad they are, decide how to fix them. Noticing a bit of a bump when going over the joint from one rack to the next. What's amazing is this side doesn't have the same sound when going over the joint. There's like a resistance on that side where it, you can tell it, something's wrong. 
This is me doing my due diligence, making sure I have proper clamping. Take all of these screws out of that hold the rack in, and then I've got this third section of module one rack teeth, and I'm gonna clamp that. I'm gonna clamp that up in three places. The gap between the teeth is just right at that seam. It's better, it's just not perfect. Is there something back there? Why is this one just a little bit out? So I've taken this rack off. I'm looking, I clean up this edge. I'm going, wow, well, what the heck's the problem? Look at this. Look at that. Dirty little piece of aluminum chip. That might very well be the issue. Get that out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that chip uh, pretty well did it. It's butter moving across this seam right now. That's nice. Episode four, I will be putting the rest of the machine together, getting the electronics set up, and performing the first carve on the Altmill V1 prototype. It's gonna be a good one. These videos come out every second Thursday, that's every two weeks. The next video will be episode four, first carve. So if you're interested in this project, that's the next time that you'll be able to watch a video showing it. There's a good one.